Hey everybody, today we are going to get started with Google Slides. By the end of this video, you'll know how to create your own slideshow, plus you'll be ready for bigger and better things with Google Slides. So let's do this. Okay, so what is Google Slides? Well, Google Slides is a program for creating slideshows. With Google Slides, you can make a slideshow presentation with text, pictures, and even simple animations. Slideshows are awesome. You can use them to share information, show what you know, plus they're just really fun to make. And one great thing about Google Slides is that it lives on the internet. So everything that you do on Google Slides is automatically saved right away, and you can access your work with any device on the internet. So if you start working on a slideshow at school, you can easily continue working on the same document at home on a different device as long as you can get online. And Google Slides also lets you collaborate with other people, even at the same time. So in this series, we're going to learn how to create a slideshow about yourself called About Me. In this episode, we're just going to create a basic slideshow with a few pages and we'll add images and more style in the next episode. Okay, so let's start making a slideshow. Now, when you want to start a brand new slideshow in Google Slides, you can go to slides.google.com. That will take you to your Google Slides homepage where you can see all of your Google Slides documents. And up at the top, you can see some options for starting a new document. We're gonna click on the plus sign for a blank document. And that takes us to a brand new Google Slideshow. So let's have a look around. Our first slide takes up most of the space, but up here at the top, we have a toolbar. And if you're familiar with Google Docs, a lot of the items in the toolbar will look familiar to you. Over here on the left is a mini view of all of your slides. These are called thumbnails. And we only have one slide right now, so we only have one thumbnail. And on the right, we've got a section called themes. And that's so that we can choose a basic style for the slideshow. And we'll take a look at that in just a minute. All right, first let's give this slideshow a title. We'll call it About Me. And then if you click on the words Untitled Presentation up here on the left, it automatically gives your slideshow the name of whatever title you put on the first slide. Then let's click on Click to Add Subtitle and I'll put my full name here. So that's the beginning of the first slide. Okay, now let's take a look at the theme section over on the right. This lets us choose a basic style for the slideshow called a theme. And if you click on each theme, you can get an idea of how each theme looks. You can always change this later and you can also change colors inside of the theme, but let's go ahead and get started with one. Now I think I like this blue and gold theme for right now, so I'll click on that. And now I can close this themes section to give myself more room to work, just by clicking on the X. Okay, now let's add a new slide to the slideshow. To do that, we click on the plus sign on the top left. That will automatically add a new slide, and then you can see that we have a new thumbnail in the left column. That makes it easy to navigate between the slides just by clicking on them. So now we have two slides, but let's just go ahead and quickly add two more slides. And that's easy. We just click on the plus sign two more times. One, two. And now let's add headings to each of these new slides. To go back to the second slide, we just click on the thumbnail for slide number two. Let's click to add a title and we'll call this slide Basic Info. And then we'll give titles to the rest of the slides. Slide three, we'll call Favorite Things. Slide four, we'll call Interesting Facts. And then let's add a different kind of slide to the end. That will be a goodbye or thank you slide. So make sure you're on slide four. Then next to the plus sign, click on this little arrow. That shows you different kinds of slides that you can add. We just wanna add a slide with big text right in the center. 
and there's one right there. So let's click on that. And we'll just click on the text and type, thanks for watching. Okay, now let's do something that will add a little bit of extra style to this slideshow. Let's navigate back to the very first slide by clicking on the thumbnail for slide one. Then we'll click on transition in the toolbar. We're gonna to tell Google Slides how we want the slides to change when they go from one slide to the next. And right now it says none, but let's just click on that and we'll choose the option for cube. And let's say that we want this transition effect to work for the whole slideshow, all of the slides. So let's click on apply to all slides. Okay, now let's see how the slideshow is looking. We'll just click on the button on the top right called slideshow. That lets us present the slideshow full screen. There's the first slide. And to get to the next slide, we just press the space bar. And there's that cube transition, pretty cool. Now to get out of presentation mode, we just press the escape key. That's the key on the top left of your keyboard with the letters ESC. Okay, now it's time to add some information to these slides. Let's go back to slide two called basic info. And underneath, that's where you can write some basic info about yourself. So me, I'm gonna write about what city I live in, my job, and a little bit about my family. And I'll just speed this up a little bit. Okay, now let's move to slide three, favorite things. I'll just click on the thumbnail for slide three. And here I wanna add a paragraph about some of my favorite things, my favorite foods, books, movies, and things to do. Okay, so for slide four, interesting facts, let's add a list with bullet points. You know those lists that have the little dots in front of each item on the list? That's a bulleted list. And there's the icon for bulleted list. So I'll click on that. Now we've got a bullet point and I can type the first item on the list. Something interesting about me, maybe something I can do or something I like to do. And when I wanna to go to the next item on my list, I just press enter. and just keep going until you're done with that list. Okay, so now we've got a good start to our slideshow, and that's how you get started with Google Slides. Check out the next episode, Adding Style, where we'll talk about how to change colors, fonts, and add images. If you liked this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll find out about more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.